and welcome back kings and queens yet another video uh okay there we go welcome back everybody to yet another flipping video and today what's our goal you know we're going to do a list of 10 items that are in between 20 and 50 mil that you kings and queens can flip this is an awesome list that was composed from Ramo, who is a great guy that is on our discord by the way if you're not part of the discord link is in the description of this video what are you doing with your life if you're not part of the discord please go join the discard it's discord discard discord it's an amazing community bunch of people in there that are extremely knowledgeable about the game i just want to say a quick uh thank you to everybody who has been subscribing everybody who's been watching let's pull up some graphs here 390 subscribers we're at right now and the views boys the views are popping off popping off right now i am so excited for everything and i cannot wait to actually reach 400 because we're gonna have a little bit of a celebration once we reach 400 and we're getting there don't you worry give us i'm guessing wednesday wednesday we'll reach that 400 and i cannot wait for it to happen at least that's the goal all right, boys, don't forget we're doing the bond giveaway. If you want your chance to win a bond, all you need to do, subscribe, leave a comment down below as to why you think you deserve the bond, along with your RuneScape username. That is all you need to do. Next video, we will announce the next bond winner, and bonds are going up in price. So now more than ever, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Enter the bond giveaway, boys. That's all I had for you guys. Let's shoot into the video. And coming in at the number one spot is going to be the Basilisk Jaw. Basilisk. Bas I think I'm saying that right. Anyways, Basilisk Jaw. It's not something I have done a ton of, but I found out that it's actually a pretty decent flip. So as you can see, it's 25k here, but throughout this video, it flipped pretty regularly. Now something that kind of shocked me, because I remember trying out Basilisk Jaws a few months ago, and they did not work out for me. I ended up losing a lot of money on them. <laughs> But recently, I think they've kind of steadied out and the price on them is actually not terrible right now. So they are a potential item that you guys could invest in as well. Just keep an eye on it and see what the uh, price is in about a week. If it's going up, then, you know, it's going up. Uh, definitely though, Basilisk Jaw, I would add it to your arsenal of items to flip. However, I would add it near the latter part of your flipping session, just because you don't want to have the money tied up in about 23 mil mainly because they didn't flip regularly for me, I think. Like, it wasn't constantly um, like it is for, well, let's say for instance, uh, Banos Tacits or something like that. Banos Tacits are really great item to flip and they flipped pretty regularly. Basilisk Jaw, I would say you can flip the entire, um, you can flip the entire GE limit in about 15, 20 minutes is what I ended up doing. May vary for you, but that's what I kind of think about Basilisk Jaw. Um, if you guys have the time, definitely flip it. If you have the cash stack, definitely flip it. Basilisk Jaw is coming in at your number one spot. And coming in at your number two slot is going to be the Bandos Tacit. Now the Bandos Tacit is definitely an item that I recommend flipping. I love flipping the Bandos Tacit because it flips so quickly. And also it's a little bit below the average price per right now. So hey, potential investment for you guys. Bandos Tacit. Um, overall, it's a solid flip. You can expect margins upwards of, gosh, that's a tough one, upwards of 20K. We'll just go with upwards of 20K. I've seen upwards of 200K margins before on the Bandos Tacit. I would say the average, you can expect 20 to 60. We'll go 20 to 60K for the Bandos Tacit. I keep saying 20 to 60K a lot, but I, I don't know. The Bandos Tacit is just a solid flip. I definitely recommend flipping it. Um, overall, you can expect, let's see, if you flip all seven, uh, at least 140K profit from the Bandos Tacits. I've us I usually have upwards of 200K profits on the Bandos Tacit. It really just depends on what the margin is at the time. But overall, Bandos Tafinet, Tafinet, Bandos Tacit, please add that to items you guys flip. And coming in at your number three spot is going to be the Justicier face guard once again just this year face guard is not something that i have regularly flipped but i have found it to be a quite profitable flip recently um as you can see it's not that great of a flip right now but i'm not gonna include it to make this video look even juicier i mean i'm not 
I'm not not, I guess that's the word. I'm not not going to be including the Justicia face guard just because it has a bad margin. Overall, it has really good margins. So you guys should add the Justicia face guard to items that you are flipping, but add it to the latter portion of items that you are flipping because it does take a little bit to flip. Um, you can expect anywhere from 20 to 60K margins on the just this year face just this year face guard it's so hard to say so please add that to items that you guys are flipping just be careful with them flip them in increments of one that's definitely what i recommend with the just this year face guard and coming in at your number four slot one of my favorites pagasian boots i hope i'm saying that right boys pagasian boots have had upwards of 200k 218k i think it was margins on him um Pagasian boots are definitely something you guys should be flipping as you can see right here it is over 100k margin right now on them and i will tell you i was able to flip i think about nine of them for that margin actually changed and the cool thing about any of the boots is you can flip 15 of them so boys i remember one night whenever it had a 200k margin i profited over four mil in less than 30 minutes just from flipping pagasian boots so please add that to items that you flip regularly if you guys have the cash stack you should definitely 100 percent with zero doubt be flipping these pagasian boots boys you will not regret it i say flip them in increments of two that's what i do i have the cash stack to do that but you can flip them in increments of one it just depends on what cash stack you have at the time that you decide to flip them but overall pagasian boots are a solid item that you can add to your arsenal of flipping and as you can see coming in at the number five slot is going to be the primordial boots and once again i have a lot of good things to say about the primordial boots you can expect upwards margins of oh gosh uh 40k all the way up to 200k once again it really just depends on the day for the primordial boots good thing about them once again is you can flip up to 15 of them per flipping session boys so you cannot miss out on the primordial boots if you have the cash tag you definitely 100 percent without a doubt in the world need to be flipping primordial boots and pagasian boots you can't forget any of the boots um the other boots the the magic ones i don't know they they're good sometimes other times they're not that one's going to be up to you if you want to flip those or not eternal boots that's what they're called they're okay but definitely primordial boots pagasian boots add that to your arsenal of items to flip i would say flip them increments of two you can flip them in one just depends on what size cash stack you have and coming in at your number six slot is going to be the armadil chest plate once again an item that i do not flip regularly but i found it to be a decent flip now caveat to that statement i would flip it in the latter part of your flipping slush session because for me it did flip fairly slow but overall i did profit on it it's a decent flip um profit wise i could say um more, not profit margin wise i would say uh 20 up to about 150k that i think that's a safe number james we'll, we'll go with that that's a safe number yeah anyways armadillo chest plate flipping them in increments of two i think anything more than two at a time would not recommend it you can flip one um i actually i'd probably say recommend flipping one the most just because it is a fairly expensive item and you don't know it's a pretty volatile item so you don't know which direction it's going to go margin wise but you can definitely add it to your list of items to flip just flip it on the latter portion 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 <laughs> boys i always skip oh i always mess up latter portion of your flipping session jeez and coming in at your number seven spot is going to be the Armadil chain skirt. Now, Armadil chain skirt, is it superior to the Armadil chest plate? I'm going to say yes for you currently, just because I had a little bit better luck flipping the Armadil chain skirt, but overall, they're both really good flips. As you can see right here, it's not a great margin, but it's still a decent margin. Um, just kind of on, kind of on the lower side of margins. I'll say you could expect 20 to about 100k margin for the armadillo chain skirt i've never seen it above 
200k before, so I'm going to tell you those are the averages for them. Overall, it's a decent item that you guys can be flipping. Add it to the latter portion of your flipping session. Flip them in increments of one. Once again, just like the armadillo chest plate, one, uh, two if you're feeling ballsy. Overall, armadillo chain skirt, add that to your list of items that you should be flipping. And coming in at your juicy number eight spot is going to be the imbued heart. I have a love-hate relationship with the imbued heart because I have made a ton of money off of it and I've lost some money before on it. Um, ah, guys, this is a tough one, guys. Um, Margin-wise, it's a big question mark because I it varies. I've seen 20K, I've seen 300K before, I've seen 150K. It varies so drastically that I'm not going to put a guesstimated margin on this one for you boys. Um, be careful with it. Definitely be careful with the imbued heart because it can it can buy and sell quickly or it can take ages to buy and sell. It is definitely a good item to be flipping. Like I said, just be cautious. Flip them one at a time. Don't go crazy with them. Um, Let's say it doesn't sell after 10 minutes, drop the price by about 10K every time until it keeps, until it sells. So like 10K if it doesn't sell, drop it another 10K. If it doesn't sell, drop it another 10K. Overall, Imbued Heart is definitely something that you should be adding to your list. Just flip it in the latter portion of your flipping session and you guys should be fine. And coming in at your number nine slot is a Dexterous Prayer Scroll. And boys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video. The Dexterous Prayer Scroll is a dangerous item. I have noticed that because I lost about 295k on this at first. Yes, 295k. It's because I don't think a lot of them are traded really. There's a GE limit of 5 as well. So it's a dangerous item. But, but, I did end up profiting about 600 or I think it was 650k off the Dexterous Prayer Skulls once I got the hang of them. If you guys are new to flipping, please do not be flipping the Dexterous Prayer Skull. But if you guys want a little bit of a challenge, Dexterous Prayer Scroll is definitely something that will give you a little bit of a challenge. Um, overall, it's, it's not bad. It's just the problem with the Dexterous Prayer Scroll is there's not many of them. So the margins on them fluctuate like crazy or sometimes the margins are just really they're just made up so you have to be careful with the dexterous prayer skulls but overall they're definitely an item that you should look at once you get more experience until that point avoid the dexterous prayer skull for now ladies and gentlemen and coming in at your number 10 spot is going to be the dragon claws and let me tell you something about the dragon claws they are one of my favorite flips right behind the bandos tacit and and the bandos godsword but dragon claws are they're amazing they usually have margins upwards of 50k i've seen upwards of 200k margins before on the dragon claws now the only downside to them is they can take a little bit to flip at times but if you get them at the right time like flipping them at the right time then you can make a ton of money off of the dragon claws like i'm talking hundreds of thousands of gp they're definitely an item that you should be flipping please add the dragon claws to your arsenal if you have the cash stack to do it you 100 percent should be flipping the dragon claws with zero doubts if you disagree with me leave a comment down below but i i love the dragon claws too. dragon claws are coming in at your number 10 spot flip them in increments of one um because margin does change a little bit every once in a while so increments of one and you should be fine just please be flipping these puppies you guys are missing out on millions of gp if you're not